What is the biggest mistake most novice Arduino users make on their very first project? I'll tell you right here. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And today we're going to talk about Arduino and the novice Arduino user and what his biggest mistake is on his very first project. Everything about Arduino is open source. That's why you see so many different manufacturers building the Arduino microcontroller, the Uno, the Mega, the Nano. And although Arduino doesn't do the Pro Mini anymore, there are still out there from other manufacturers. And then you have the shields and everything else that works with Arduino. The reason for this is because it's open source and the code is also open source. And it's available in a lot of different places like I mentioned in a previous video. And it's thundering. <laughs> but there seems to be an issue with this. In the Arduino users group, and the Arduino forum and a lot of other forums, it's obvious that there are users that are using someone else's code and asking questions in those users group about that code. But one thing about it, they lack the knowledge of what is in that code itself. They don't know how to use it. They don't know what's in it. They just want to use it to make this big project for themselves. On the forums, they'll ask for help on this code, but they fail to let anyone know that they're not the author of that code and they're just beginners and they have no idea what's going on. So these people are helping them out, trying to get that code to work, not knowing these two details. The biggest thing is they're thinking that there's something wrong with the code and trying to help out there. And it's not actually something wrong with the code. It's the user doesn't know how to utilize that code. What happens is they watch a video and they like what they see. This is very impressive. I want to put that on my model railroad. So they go out and buy an Arduino and they buy a few other things to try to duplicate it. The only thing is they haven't taken the time to understand how Arduino works. They don't know anything about the code in Arduino, and that is a big issue. Now, here's a good example. It's like a teenager just getting out of the DMV with his learner's permit in hand. All right, he's never been behind the wheel of any kind of vehicle before, but he sees an 18 wheeler sitting out there and he said, Hey, I could, I could do this. I could pull that thing back into that tight spot in that loading dock in between two other trailers. I seen him do it on YouTube. There's no problem. It's easy. Oh my goodness. He jumps up in the cab and he can't get the thing started. He's fumbling around with everything. He, he says, Hi, hell, what's going on here? Okay, this thing's defective. Should I put air in the tires? Oh, I seen them beating the tires with a pipe. I mean, I wonder if that's going to help. I can't adjust this seat. Oh, I need a new seat in this thing. And he screams out, I need help with this thing. This thing isn't working like it's supposed to. That's what it's like with these novice Arduino users. Their very first project is some complex project that they seen on YouTube and they know absolutely nothing about anything about Arduino. And yet they want it to work and they wonder why and they look for help. Now, don't get me wrong. Not everybody does this. There are other users that take their time. They go through and read about Arduino. They go through lessons either on my site or 
Adafruit or Spark Fund, which have lessons on beginning Arduino also. And they take the time to find out how Arduino works, and then they'll use a beginner's kit, something similar to the Elegoo beginner's kit or the Grove beginner's kit that I just did a review on. And they'll play around with that before they attempt any bigger projects. But this is about the novice who attempts those crazy, complicated projects on their very first attempt. They might get frustrated for hours, days, and weeks because they can't get it to work properly. So then they go on the forums and they start asking questions there. Imagine how it feels to this novice when they've heard so many good things about Arduino and so many good things about what it could do. And then when they're doing that complicated project, nothing works and they just get frustrated with it. And they'll start bad mouthing Arduino. They'll start bad mouthing the code. They might even mention who wrote the code and where they found it and say they don't know what they're doing. They'll put it all over social media and say this doesn't work, that doesn't work, and it gives Arduino a bad name. And it's not the fault of the code. The code works. Other people have used the code. Now, I'm talking about examples that have been around for two to three years. They've worked and other modelers have used that same code. But it's those people that try to tackle it without knowing the background of Arduino. This is where many people quit out of frustration. I've seen beginners wanting to try to put 40 plus servos on turnouts using CMRI with JMRI with an RS-485 interface. That is a little bit complicated. Even people that understand Arduino may have some issues with it. But for this beginner to try that out, it, they are not going anywhere with it. These people are the ones that spend many, many hours, maybe even years, developing their skill coding in Arduino and other languages. And they put these things out there for everyone to see. When I run into a problem, I do a search. It's either on YouTube or I Google it, or I'll go on the forums looking for a solution. I'm not putting my code out there and asking questions on it. I'm just looking for something similar to what I am trying to work on to see if anybody else had any issues with it. And sometimes I might run into a topic on a forum that looks promising. And I'll go in there and start reading. Before I get down to a dozen comments, I see that the person that originally posted the comment doesn't know anything about it. And they're just wasting the time of the people on there that are trying to help them. And most of those people that come on there, they'll just look at the first comment up there and see what the issue is and won't go down and read what the follow-ups are and don't realize that this person doesn't know what they're talking about. And they'll give additional solutions and there'll be an interaction between them and it just keeps on going and going. And those and that initial part up in the top where you see that this person doesn't know what they're talking about is lost and other people chimed in and trying to help and it just keeps on going and going and going until somebody in that thread says something that you know this person is a beginner and they really don't know how to code anything and you telling them to try different things inside the code isn't going to help this type of situation wastes many hours for people that are trying to help other people on the forums or on the users group. They could be spending their time better helping somebody that actually has a problem and has the knowledge to be able to understand how to correct it if they're given a solution to it. I've been using these forums for a long time, going back to the CompuServe days when they were 
special interest groups, SIGs. I learned a lot from these places. When I had problems doing a procedure in maybe visual basic or C, I went there and I asked them, I said, look, I can't do this. Is there a way to, that I could get around it to make this better so it'll work? And I've learned a lot of tricks in those days from these people that are trying to help. But what's going on now is you get these people that because of YouTube and social media that they see all this stuff that can be done and they want to try the most complex projects without knowing anything about Arduino, coding, electronics, nothing. And they get mad because they can't get it to work. Now we have a closing statement. Be respectful of those on the forum that are trying to help other people there. They are there to help. Those forums are used for gathering information. Please don't ask how to fix the code when you don't know anything about the code to begin with. It's probably not the code's fault. It's probably you not understanding how to properly set up the code. They are not on there to teach you how to use Arduino. There are courses available for you to find out how to use Arduino. And I have a list of those courses in the description. You can find an extended version of what I said here on my website at Tom's Train of Thought slash Arduino slash background. And I'll have that link in the description also. It's about five minutes to read it. I have a lot of good information in there. There's a lot of links in there and it talks a lot about the beginnings of Arduino and how it progressed on YouTube through the last four or five years. So go take a look at it on my website. And while you're there, take a look at the lessons that I have for Arduino, Arduino Made Easier. I'll be putting more lessons on there shortly. There's a lot of things that I haven't covered on Arduino for beginners yet, so I'm going to be putting more on there. This goes out to all the creators that have posted good code on YouTube, GitHub, and everywhere else possible. You're doing a great job with it, and a lot of you answer the questions that your viewers are asking about the code. And there are some of you that do not answer any of the questions that your viewers ask. And that's probably why they have to go to the forum and ask the questions there. Because you're not taking the time to go back and respond to the viewers that are watching your videos. So please respond to your viewers. So. Until the next time, we'll see ya. And most of all, have fun. What is the biggest mistake that most novice Arduino users make on their very first lot on their very first live stream? <laughs> okay. What is the biggest mistake that most what is the biggest mistake that most Arduino novices? What is the biggest mistake? <coughs> what is the biggest? <laughs> okay, well, I'll get through this thing here. Serious. <laughs>